Okay, Lolly is guarding the house. It's been a whole week. It's time to feed the worms. This week, I, again, have not checked on them, haven't tinkered with them anything, which I'm super proud of. Apparently, we're going to help teach Wally watching and not speaking while we're doing this. But I have gone another whole week without checking on them, without fussing with them. But I do have some of the original food from my starter kit that I did get with Uncle Jim's Worm Farm that I haven't used up on hand because I need to add some grit in, I think. I have some shredded cardboard and paper over there that I'm going to use. But since last week's feeding was a little light, oh, Wally's doing good watching. I have a whole bag, like literally an absurd amount. Now, some of this is like just an unfortunate thing where like I bought a thing of mushrooms and you know, life happened, I didn't get to them quick enough. There is a bit of parsley in here, which is kind of adding to the bulk. Um, I don't know, just the usual stuff. And then I stuff, you know, it's, it's full of food scraps. So I have plenty of food if I need to feed them that, but I'm gonna try a different angle this week so you guys can get a better sense potentially. Um, so with that being said, let me rearrange the camera so we can watch. All right, now this is gonna be our hands-free version. So now it'll be a little bit more steady, but like normal, I'm just gonna do a quick check of the top layer to see if anybody's relocated. So, I'm not seeing much. I didn't have you guys zoomed in really because there's not much to see here. It's just some of the original stuff, the bedding. So, I think we're good here. While I get ready to check the second layer, Wally won't be helping this week. He's busy eating. Which, for those of you who don't like the puppy talk, you're welcome. But also, I mean, he's adorable. How can I not love him? All right. Now, I'm doing this at an angle where I can't really see the camera as I'm doing it, so bear with me. But depending on how this goes, I might do this more often. Now, I think this makes feeding number five this week. And one through three, I was making a trench in the middle and feeding there. But last time, because it was a smaller feeding and I wanted to help kind of move some of the worms off to the side, because I figured, you know, then I don't have to like dig them up every time, I fed them over here. So first off, I'm just gonna check in the middle and see if there's any obvious food scraps still in here. I see plenty of bedding, i.e. the shredded cardboard and whatnot. Definitely see some worms, loving that. I see some, looks like sweet potato peels left. Looks like a little bit, but like, let's be honest, who wants to eat sweet potato peels? So, okay, we gotta have, uh, I don't even know what this is. Oh, this is a banana, um, from a banana, the top of the bananas. Okay, we had frozen bananas. Yeah, I'm not mad that they didn't eat that. I'm not. Who wants to eat that? Okay, so the middle looks pretty, I don't want to say deserted because there's definitely some guys in there, but there's not a lot of food. So I'm going to check on this side here. Oh, let's see what we got. I definitely want to make sure you guys can see. There, yeah, there are some, quite a number of them living this banana peel, I think. All right, cool. It's definitely more active over here which is great that's what i wanted i wanted them to move over but i'm not really seeing any food left so i'm really glad we're feeding them today i don't want to lose our momentum of them eating a lot and hopefully reproducing a lot so i want to make sure we get them plenty of food this week um is my bag of food too much? I don't know, but I really want them to keep reproducing because I really want to be able to generate more black gold and by extension be able to take care of more worms and hopefully um, just in general be more 
uh, what is that? Not sufficient, but make the most out of the natural scraps that I'm, I'm creating. So this is a pretty full bag, but I, I'm feeling like comparatively to some of the other stuff we put in here, this is, I, I, I don't think this is the biggest feeding ever, but it's probably pretty darn close if it is. So actually, you know what, before I put this in, I think I'm gonna put some of the grit down at the bottom. So this bag, I don't remember what's in it. It's from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. Came with the uh, starter box, not this green um, vermicomposter, uh, the, the, what is it? The hot frog living composter. This didn't come with it, but uh, it did come with the, essentially like the Rubbermaid version, the starter kit that I got. I've never actually touched it with my hands. Now I'm beginning to think that that might've been a bad idea. A little easier to check though. Okay, well hopefully that wasn't the biggest mistake ever. I wasn't really watching because I was trying to see if I could pick it up on the video and I stuck my hand in there and anybody who was watching probably saw what I didn't see. So let me just show you really quick. I'm only gonna let this run for a second because I don't want it to escape, but these bugs appear to be in my little stash. I don't know what they are, but I am just gonna say that they're maybe cockroaches. I don't know, but that's terrifying that I just stuck my hand in there. So I'm gonna close this back up. I pulled some out from the pile that I saw on top. Hopefully this wasn't the biggest mistake ever. Ay, 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 always something. So I try to pull out any activity that I see happening here. I'm gonna let it sit for a second and see if I can catch any more. I don't know what kind of bugs those are, but I definitely don't want them in a pile of rotting food. Ay, ay, ay. All right, well, I've done the best that I can. I think I probably got probably seven or eight of them out of there, but they didn't look like there was a lot in the bag that I could tell. So hopefully they were just, you know, the ones on top, but I've tried not to move the soil around too much because I don't want to run the risk of potentially pushing more of them in. If there's a chance that they might come up top. I don't know which, I don't know. I don't know how bug logic works, but I think at this point I'll just feed them and Oh, just keep an eye on them. So, food. Got some peaches, some mushrooms. I'm trying to go a little slower this week so you guys can see exactly what I'm feeding them. This looks like we got some banana peels. Some Brussels sprouts off cuts. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot. We got some parsley that I do not use in time. And we have, let's see, oh, an old paper towel, some kale off cut, some zucchini, and rebel me. I'm putting a little piece of onion in and some onion peel. I think it's okay. I know everybody says not to, but I think a little bit's all right. All right, I'm gonna see if there's any chance I can cover this with some of the existing fluff and bedding in here kind of push it down because a lot of this stuff isn't super hard but um I definitely want it to be able to be covered because I really think that's helping with the bug management oh looks like we got some eggshells in here awesome yeah I don't think it's going to be able to push down too much more so that's all right. I'm not worried about it because I'm going to cover it. If you guys have been watching the last few weeks, you'll see that almost every time I've added more bedding, and it's still, it's not like there's too much. 
Like, I really don't think there's too much in here. Because, uh, you know, as you saw at the beginning, it's been a week. And while well, last week I might not have filled it up as much as normal, uh, it, I usually do fill it pretty high. And uh, still, you know, week after week, it really starts to compress down. So it's not like, you know, I'm overfilling it or anything. So I feel pretty good about this. I'm going to try and pick up some of these little cigarettes off the floor. And I'm going to clean up the edges, I think, because I this stuff is a little more airy than some of the other stuff. And it's probably some of the fullest it's ever been. Oh, i got to figure out what kind of bugs those were. Hopefully they weren't roaches. But I'm going to throw out the bag anyways, just in case. If I figure out what they are, I will definitely... Put it in the comment section or in the video description. Oh dear, I made this a little full. One side. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's all right. I think it'll be okay. That's it. That's it for this week. For now, moving forward, my plan is to just continue feeding once a week. And I'm going to keep putting the videos up just so you guys can kind of see how they progress. I mean, hopefully this angle shows you a little bit more. But I'm definitely seeing an improvement in feeding them a lot more than my last bucket that I had. So I want to keep this up for a while and see how it shapes up. Because I think, um, I mean, I don't... I don't know, it's, we got this beginning of July. It's the end of August now. So it's been two months. So I'm hoping in a few more weeks, maybe a couple more feedings, I'll probably start um, letting them mig start the migration up to that top box because, I mean, you, I mean, you saw this week, it, it was already, what was it, probably like three quarters of the way full. So by the time I add the food and then I add the food, the bedding on top of it it's obviously very very full so I want to make sure that they have plenty of room and, and healthy space to grow in there so I'm going to think about the schedule of when I think I should move them from the bottom tier to the second tier if you guys have any recommendations or thoughts on this you've done this before let me know like on one hand I feel like well maybe I should just start next week and let them start their migration so next week I'll feed them maybe in the top tier but I, you know, I'm really torn because this is, if you guys haven't checked it out, go check out the original video, but like, this is pretty empty, you know, and that's how it was supposed to be, whether or not, or not that's not how it, the bottom is supposed to be, but that's how they are when they, it starts, oops, so it obviously has gotten full with all of the food and feeding and, and worm castings in there, so maybe, maybe next week we move it up, you know, feed up on the next tier, let me know, I, I'm curious to know what you guys think.